Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Astro Zerg from YGG Gaming. Um, so in the top right hand corner, we or yes, right hand corner we have intimacy, and in the bottom left hand corner we have myself, Astro Zerg. And I just realized my uh, hotkeys are messed up from the new batch. So my goodness, these hotkeys are really weird. Okay, um, so we have here a probe going down to most likely do some kind of uh, cheese or um, cannon rush most likely and there's the forge um, so I must say I'm very glad that season 4 of Starcraft has brought some very interesting changes to the um, very interesting changes to the ladder because now I can see when I'm going to rank up, and the maps are just so much better. Um, Dust Towers, which is what this map is, is no longer in the map pool. And the one that I'm most happy about is, uh, let me just uh, quick fix this. Um, the one I'm most happy about is that Arena is gone. And uh, Arena is the one that has a super quick rush distance, and that's basically the one that was replaced by Dasan Station. It's on station. I vetoed. Uh, fortunately, I did not play it. Um, the two games that I, or the three games that I played before, I realized it wasn't vetoed. So that is no longer on my map pool. Fortunately, because that was just a mess. Uh, when I tried playing it in the uh, uh, preview uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, but we can see here we've got a pylon blocking the third base for Astrozerg, and we have triple cannon going for uh, intimacy, as well as one pylon way in the back that can easily be surrounded. Uh, this th uh, second base is going to go down. Uh, meanwhile, Cybercore just now going down and another cannon. He really needs to expand right now, uh, and I think that's what his goal is, but um, at this rate, double gas and a Rotorn going down for Astrozerg, which is the right call. Um, this, this expansion is still not up yet. And it really needs to be because hmm, this probe's just chilling there. Um, okay, there's the expansion um, for Protoss, uh, but these Zerglings are going to take out this pylon and allow him to expand down here, as well as uh, build up a count. See, the roaches are here, there's some Zerglings um, ready to take out these pylon, this pylon, and um, we have a Zealot, a Stalker, and a, a Sentry here for intimacy to defend. Um, but the thing is, though, that this creep spread is going to be a lot faster because it started at the natural, or third base, if you will, um, for Astrozerg. Um, just out getting a second base going. Um, Intimacy has had this second base for a bit, but has not been saturating it. Um, really needs to transfer some probes. Three more gateways going, and a robo. Um, for those of you that might um, proxy a, uh, or sorry, rush with cannons, uh, if you successfully take out their second, um, whether you cancel it or you actually destroy it, the best play to go after that is to go uh, Stargate because of the fact that you've put their production so far behind that um, you can easily go into a Void Ray and they won't be able to have Hydras. Maybe they might have a Spore Caller down, but that's a lot less uh, likely. So... <clears throat> Best thing, best case scenario, go uh, Stargate because they, otherwise you end up with this, and he's going to do Stalker Immortal on four gates on two base. Meanwhile, Astrozerg is on three base, uh, technically two base, two bases that are saturated, uh, but nonetheless three base. The Hydrogen is out, and the two Evo chambers are uh, finished as well. The layer is ready, obviously, since the Hydrogen is done. Um, but you can see here. Intimacy is still on four gate and one robo fac. Just now getting the third halfway done, um, but still doesn't have much of an army. Uh, nice creep spread from Astrozerg. It's about halfway out. Um, we can see here getting the third base saturated and getting some army units. Um, meanwhile, this probe's just chilling here. I don't even know. It just got left. Uh, another scouting phoenix. But this is just not enough for a um, now six gate uh, Protoss. This is still not enough. He should have a lot more than just uh, 
six Dockers, two Immortals, two Senshis, and one Zealot. Um, he needs to have a lot more than this. The third base is getting saturated, but for both players. Um, but technically, the Zerg player is in the lead at the moment. Because there's no... Uh, okay, now we have the Devil Stargate. Um, this might be able to shift the lead change uh, to Intimacy's favor. Um, but the problem is... Ooh, we got a Colossus. Uh, but the problem is that we have a fourth base going down for Astro Zerg, as well as we already have Hydra's uh, able and a good amount out, or two out, but still able to get more. Um, these Zerglings are going to be able to uh, counter these all, uh, Immortals, but this Colossus will shred them um, slightly. We do only have plus one from Intimacy. Meanwhile, we have... 1-1 one, one for Astrozerg, and 2-2 two, two on the way. Uh, sorry, 2 on the way, as well as 2 attack for Intimacy as well. That was a lot of his wells. Um, but this is just going completely bad for Intimacy, so he's going to mass recall. 30 supply difference. <clears throat> and uh, now we have 2 uh, Colossi on the field. This Colossus is just going to get picked off easily. Um, he wastes the Photon Overcharge and has 1,000 minerals in the bank. Uh, meanwhile, Zerg player is saturating the fourth base as well as keeping up the uh, aggression. He is able to spot this um, warp prism, and this probe is still here. Um, I'm not sure what it's doing. Sorry, we're missing a battle. But um, yeah, you can see here now it's just a mass of stalker army versus immortals. The immortal will go down, and at this moment, really, Astrozerg's free to. This is really game, um, unless he can hold it off really well. But this is just too many stalkers. Easily can go hydras to counter it. This one colossus is not going to do anything. Um, colossi were pretty good. Um, they can be pretty good, but you have to be able to get a good uh, spot for them to be able to hold them off. Meanwhile, the fourth base is still just chilling. A whole nother army is there for Astrozerg. Um, and this is not looking good for Intimacy because he's not able to take a fourth. Uh, he's trying to take this base most likely. But this probe is still just chilling here. The creep spread is going all over the place. And now there's the base for Intimacy. I uh, really should see some high t hive tech here for uh, Astrozerg. Just to uh, capitalize on his advantage. This army is really just nothing compared to all of this. Um, there's no way he's going to be able to win this, uh, I feel. This warpism is still just roaming around in sight of everything. Only thing I can think of is trying to go in here to drop down adepts or zealots, but I mean, he already knows that uh, the war prisms out there. These roaches are just going to shred through uh, this army. Uh, 2 1 versus 2 0 0 is uh, just a bad day. He's going to get a surround on the Colossus. That's going to go down. These stalkers are going to go down, and there's the GG. Um, I mean, that was really well played by Astrozerg by coming back from that cannon rush to slow him down. Um, if Intimacy had gone Stargate, even double Stargate, earlier, and gotten his second base down a lot faster, that would have gone a lot better. He did have double Stargate, but it was way too late, and he did nothing with the Stargate because it was it was too late because of the Hydra Den. Um, as soon as you see like two Void Rays, you know they're going to try, try to either mass Void Rays or get a good six of them to um, back up the uh, initial army. And so Hydras can easily just shred through those, and that was just already a bad idea. So it would have, it would have been a lot better if uh, Intimacy had gotten that Stargate play a lot earlier, um, been able to capitalize on the lead he already had by canceling and denying the second base. Um, so it was just really good play, um, a really good comeback from Master Zerg from the uh, really big deficit that he had because of that cannon rush. Um, so it was really well played. I'm Ashley Zerk from YGG Gaming. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, see you next time.